Seahawks be mostly blue and green. The Seahawks colors. Yeah, Seahawks colors. Seahawks, yep. Griffin. Does he still play, Griffin? I'm also filming the washing parts. Yeah, you're filming the washing parts? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, wow, this side's kind of dusty, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can wipe it down later on when you want. Wipe yeah, a little, you know, a little microfiber cloth and some um, armor all. Armor all is the best. Oh, well, it is. Noisy parts. Let's go through the silver room fixed. Or what happens? We begin to shower? I think so. <laughs> I think we're about to get a wax bath. Yeah. So when this sunroof open, if you want to open it sometime, but do it after the car wash. I don't know, I haven't tested it out yet. Wow. Test it out after we're done. In 2020, Outlaw's generation saw a lot of change, and a lot of it was great. It was the beginning of the Foodie Federation, Outlaw's Wrestling Corner, The Voice Series, my Twitch channel, and everyone's favorite that you guys like to tune in every Saturday, Outlaw's Hideout Live Show. I want to thank all my followers out there, the official Outlaws and Patreons, my sponsors, Big Dipper Edible Cookie Dough, Wicked Cuts Jerky, Tokyo Treats, and Loot Mogul Games. I couldn't do this without your support. I try to make great content to entertain you fans, and it all starts with good food. So let the 2020 countdown begin for the top five best food reviews. Welcome back to Deadly Outlaws, five star Canva is a free tool that makes designing anything easy. Canva has all my content creation needs covered. Our whole team uses Canva to create professional marketing material. With thousands of professionally made templates and millions of premium photos and videos, Canva makes design simple for everyone. I use it for presentations, group assignments, even social posts. It's flexible, fun to use, and free. It's our secret weapon for design. Start designing for free at canva.com. There are a lot of high-end bakeries in New York City, but these guys at Lady M are doing something totally unique. The Meal Crepe Cake. These cakes are no less than 20 layers with the perfect balance of crepe and cream. You eat this cake, pinkies up, and you feel like you should be having high tea with the queen. It was hard cutting the first piece of cake that I cut at Lady M. I still remember that fear, especially when you realize you're slicing into $90. We started in 2001 as a wholesaler, and then we expanded purely by word of mouth. Lady M pioneered the milk crepe cake. And when you look at a cake with so many crepe layers and cream between every layer, first of all, it looks really delicate, really fine, really uniform. And then you take a bite, and it is light as air. The mission at Lady M is to combine French technique with Japanese sensibility. So they focus on precision, but at the same time, everything has to be uniform and minimalist and beautiful. Lady M CEO Ken Romanishan really brought in his past experience growing up. Number five is Zell's. This was one of the best food reviews because it's the Foodie Federation's first major collab. It's the first time the members have ever collabed with Joy's World Tour where you had to represent your state. Thanks to, you know, we got this idea from the review crew and Dane was cool with it. It was really fun and the chicken was great. Fried chicken. This is local here in Washington State. I'd like to tell you guys about Zell. You haven't tried the chicken yet. <laughs> this is a huge drumstick. 
Here we go. Give it a try. I hope the Footy Federation likes theirs. Wow. And for the main event, the chicken. You did it, Azels. You nailed it, guys. Juicy chicken. You're getting five outlaw stars. It just... It's amazing with the... Number four, Arby Spicy Prime Rib Cheesesteak. This was a versus video where I tried two sandwiches, but what made it a five-star rating and made it to the fourth place on this list was adding the Arby's horsey sauce. I get the prime rib. It's tender with the fire roasted peppers. They're sweet. I'm gonna get the onions. Anything else? Where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Here's the right, sauce. Here we go. We're gonna put it right here. Watch. All right. We're gonna try this with the. Here you go, guys. The fire. The spicy. The spicy. Prime rib cheesesteak with horsey sauce. Here we go. Spicy prime rib cheesesteak because this, it goes well with the, the spicy sauce. There's sweet chili sauce, but what makes it even better and gives you the party in your mouth, it has to be that horsey sauce. Grammarly helps make your writing clear and concise no matter where you are. Compose a cup. Number three, Wendy's Breakfast Baconator. Who thought in 2020 you would be ordering breakfast at Wendy's? And what even better is all the breakfast sandwiches are amazing. Good job, Wendy's. Lots of bacon. All right, we got the webcam working. Webcams, I mean, it's working now, okay? We're good. It sounds working now. I have it on. One of my friends was trying to call. All right, here he goes. Restart this. God dang it. So we have right here, we have Dayton and Snack checking in for the review crew. How's everyone doing? We got Reese's Snack Cakes. Look at this, guys. Could be like, it looks like a block of shit, Mike. No, it's a cake. I think I saw my Foodie Federation buddy, Freddy the Foodie King, review this. So I figured I, I gotta give this a try. So let's give this a try. Happy New Year 2021 Outlaws, the year of the outlaw. Give us a try.
look at the cake right there with the peanut butter. Fuck, guys. To me, it's like a peanut candy bar. <laughs> but good to see Dayton and Stack checking in. Maybe Dayton could try to be on a call and show, man. But we have our mate. We're going to have Robbie talk to um, Cave Squeaker later on the show because Cave Squeaker wanted to be on the show. Hopefully, Robbie, you're cool with that. Mods? We're going to have a good night tonight, guys. I got in the show at 9 because I got to get dinner. They have something new at Dairy Queen I want to review. I want to try those rotisserie chicken bites. I taste mostly peanut butter and some cake right here. Unlike Reese's, I also am going to buy those pretzels. I'm going to check at the grocery store if they have those pretzels. So, um, we're going to have to do that. Try the pretzels. I think I saw Snack King Cole. Snack King Cole! Are, did you review the, the Reese's pretzels? If you did that, I might do a review on that next week on the hideout. See if I can find it. Because these are out of this world. They're good, but I like the Reese's peanut butter cups better, guys. I'm a picky son of a bitch when I'm reviewing this. Oh, now it's rating for the Reese's snack cakes. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you a four spot. I'm just, I, I, but um, I am looking forward to trying those pretzel Reese's peanut butter cups later on. I just, it's just like eating a regular peanut butter cake candy bar. Nothing special, but I'll give it a four because I do like the peanut butter in here, but I like this last one and then we'll start the show. So guys, if you're at your grocery store, check to see if you can find the the Reese's snack cakes or um, those pretzels. And I'm gonna try to find those pretzels because I'm a huge fan of Reese's peanut butter cups. Now guys, I am on Loop Mogul. If you guys, I play every Saturday, 2 p.m. Pacific. Loot Mogul Games, it's like um, quiz trivia. I have quiz trivia for um, the, my channel. I'm going to do a lot of changes on the questions because some of the answers don't even make sense. But if you look right there, it says Trivia Night. That's my um, law, that's my um, website address. I mean, a website. Go there. You can play me at... They give you like a, a dollar for free. And you can play... If you win a game, you get like 80 cents. But we can get a lot of people playing. I had four people playing. I won like three bucks a game. So it's not bad. You guys should consider playing against me. You'll probably beat me. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, let's, let's mute this right here. So, um... How was everyone's um, Christmas and your New Year, everybody? Please let me know in the chat because I am going to get Nick on the show later on. Let's get to 2020. It was really a fucking tough year for me, guys. Um, <laughs> I went to part-time at LKQ because of the fucking pandemic back in March. Got to be back full-time again. Guy got trolled a lot. Tom was an insect that kept bugging me. Still is. Foodie Federation problems and there was no fucking gym. But, um, you know, we had a little problems. But it's a lot better now. The Foodie Federation is together and we're doing good. We're growing. We're getting more people. Also, guys, if you want, check out my friend, um, Foodie Federation member, Chuck's Food Reviews. He's live streaming right now. He's trying to get the, uh, um, the minutes so he can get monetization. I want to help people out too, man. So watch both him and me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Loot Mogul um, on weekends if you guys ever want to play me. I only play for about 30 minutes, and that's it. Well, Twitch games tonight. James A. Trine says he will be back next week because he filmed a Patreon video. Um, but um, tonight I'll be playing. I don't know. I think I'm going to try Street Fighter V for the PS5. PS, <laughs> PS5, I wish. PS4. If I don't 
if I can't get it to work, then maybe I'll play a Nintendo Switch game. Maybe more Link's Awakening or maybe the Mario Deluxe Brothers. Or maybe Slimer that Solstice really wants to play. He could play um, Luigi's Mansion 3. I'll think about that tonight because I'll be on around either 10, 30, or 11 for about two hours to 1 o'clock. So um, let's get to the show. Um, so um, we'll be doing that. I already did the live food review for you guys. And get <laughs> so um, let's um, start 2021 with a big bang, guys. I'll be honest with you guys. When I, on New Year's Day, I was thinking about going to play some more Twitch. But um, I drank a whole um, bottle of a little bit of the bubbly. And I just passed out, man. Wine is so fucking strong. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Circus of Snack. Cool name for your for your faction. But let's get let's get to. We're even gonna talk to Montana B later on the show too, guys. But we'll go till nine today. So, let's see if there's anyone that wants to call in. Oh, here we go. We got Rywin in here. Hello, Rywin. Uh, we have the Dunk Judge on here, ladies and gentlemen, right now. He wanted to call in. It's the Dunk Judge, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, Dunk Judge. So, I was just getting finished, getting wrapping up at um, uh, Outlaws Challenge with Nick. Yeah, he's into a challenge, and I heard the puppets want to maybe do the challenge too. No solstice, more time for the Foodie Federation. Says, thank you for the five dollar donation, RVP too. <laughs> I'll be there to make sure you finish all and count your time. Very important job. Yep. Oh, Nick's not feeling too, not to feeling too to well. Eat, Must have had too much beer. The entire pizza after all. Oh, okay. Poor Nick. Poor Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now. Uh, so, I just want to call about um, uh, some football. Yeah, uh, football. Did you watch the college playoffs yesterday? Uh, yeah, but sadly, uh, the team I wanted to win, Notre Dame, got their ass handed to them, so it is what it is. Oh, yes. Uh, Notre Dame didn't do too good, and they haven't been doing good for the past 10 years, past yep. 15 years. Yep. Not like it was in the 80s when he still won championship after championships. Yep. Hey, the Peter J. Show, Foodie Federation member. How's it going, man? we got to do a collaboration sometime, man. Check out this channel and subscribe as well, guys. we got to help oh. each other growing. Does, does he do any challenges? You uh, want to hire me to, uh, <laughs> any of them? The Dunk Judge with Peter J. Show, that'd be pretty cool. All right. The so... show's going to go till 9 today because um, I looked at DQ. Dairy Queen closes at 10. I thought they closed at 9. It closed at 10 o'clock. So I got in the show at 9, guys. So if I have to end the call, that's too bad because we'll, we'll be back again next oh, week. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know ice cream. People are that crazy for ice cream at 10 p.m. at night in the winter. I don't know. Actually, you know, maybe when we take a break, I might call Dairy Queen because last time I went to the Dairy Queen in um, Seattle, they they were only serving blizzards at fucking night. I better call just to make sure. Otherwise, I might have to end the show early, possibly too. All right. Because I want my well, I want to review I want to review those rotisserie chicken bites. I want to review those really bad. You want to review Dairy Queen food? Terror, oh, terror, good. pick I... Rob. You are on my list. More time for real outlaws. No time for pick swap. <laughs> Thank you for the do no <laughs> Thank you for the nine dollars and ninety nine cents donation, Tech on Tony. That's a huge supporter right there, man. All right, so tomorrow we have all the Sunday NFL games. Yeah, football, uh, NFL football, I'm man. For that. Yep, and um, Anna and football. Dayton, if you're watching, your Bears are gonna be playing tomorrow. I'm rooting for your Bears. I hope they beat the Packers. That's right. So we'll start with the games. Uh, I'm not sure which ones will be televised. Uh, some games have been moved also because, you know, uh, it wouldn't be fair if one team already qualified for the playoff tournament yes. and, you know, just rested their players and didn't bother trying, just play their backups. So they had their regular players rested for the playoffs. Yeah. While 
you know, but another team has to play and try hard for it. So that's why they have them all play at the same time. So they'll look at the other team's results. That forces everyone to try hard. Yeah, exactly. We're talking sports, guys, and then we're going to get to the food news, and then I'm going to take a little break, give Dairy Queen a call, see what time to close up. Now, I'm not sure which games will be nationally televised mm-hmm. uh, tomorrow morning. But um, you know, all of us on good games. Hopefully we get to see them. It's not going to be the uh, um, Cleveland Browns. Cleveland versus Browns. the Pittsburgh yeah. Steelers. I'm excited for this one because if you remember from last year, uh, the defensive lineman for the Browns, uh, he ripped the helmet off the quarterback for the Steelers yeah. and took the helmet and slammed it on his head. <laughs> the quarterback like kicked him in the groin. Damn, so, right in the good. balls. Ouch. So, you know, it, you know the, the defensive lineman got suspended all year. Miles Garrett, and a while back, the quarterback got fined 50000 and uh, I kind of wonder what's going to happen now this game and the thing is uh the browns cleveland browns need to win this game or they may not go to the playoffs yeah the playoff tournament you know they'll miss out on a chance to win the super bowl while the pittsburgh steelers have already qualified so they may not try too hard but uh we, we don't know they may want to get some bench here miz and is there anyone else from cleveland i know the miz is i know he's a huge cleveland browns fan anyone oh, else you know uh, i know uh you have a good friend from i i heard Lives in uh, Cleveland. Was it uh, this person named Tom? Tom, that guy. He's not my friend. I don't oh, give a fuck I, about I him. I apologize for Mr. Outlaw. I don't give a fuck about him. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure he cares a lot about the Cleveland Browns. They haven't made the playoffs in what was it over uh, 16 years. 16 years so, for the, the for the Browns. That's crazy. Yeah, they they, they have been they have. Almost been, uh, you could say, a failure of a franchise. But, yeah, chat's going fucking fast. Uh, well, they, is this going to be the chance? I do like the uh, Baker Mayfield commercials where he lives at the uh, Cleveland football stadium. <laughs> yeah. The one, uh, the one that really made me laugh was when he was playing, uh, was it Call of Duty uh, or something, you know, on the, on the big you know, um, uh, jumbotron. And you know, the name was the other football player, and the neighbors are complaining. His wife's telling me, oh, too loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that would be a good game. I'm, uh, the Bears versus Packers. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, they need to win if they want to. No, I, I hope the Packers the lose, record. and I hope the Saints lose, because then Seattle <laughs> wins, they get the first seat. Oh, that's right, because the way the playoffs are seated, uh, the, the team with the best record gets to rest the first round of the playoff tournament, which is you know, very important. Yep. So, the Green Bay Packers will win this one, and the, and the Cincinnati. Oh, not my fault. Yeah, the Chicago Bears, they're playing them. Uh, if they don't win, they may not go to the playoff tournament. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, that would be a good game. I don't, um, uh, well, what else is going on? Oh, the, the last game of the night would be the Washington football team versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, yeah, that's a must win for Washington if they want to even fucking take the division. Yeah, if they win, they go to the playoffs. So, um, they get to erase all the bad history. Um, uh, they fired their quarterback because he was at a strip club. Yeah. Without a mask on, which, uh, you know, he could catch a catch a virus. He could, it's against the rules. He could spread to the rest of his team. So, well, that's. That's too bad. You know, hopefully, you know, he learns a lesson from that. Yep, hopefully. But, um, uh, I don't know what other playoff games I saw last night. I think the one of the games they might show is the Arizona Cardinals versus the Los Angeles Rams. So that's a must win game for both of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Rams have to win, or they're. Or if the Bears win, the Rams lose. Rams are eliminated if the Cardinals win. And they'll have to have no Goff. Goff isn't going to play. Well, the Cardinals haven't made the playoffs. Guys, we do sports on here once in a while because playoffs are unfortunate, okay? I don't do them all the time. We'll get Robbie yeah. on in Cave Squeak. We're on the, sh- on the show, guys. Probably around um, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Well, it'll be depending because is... after I'm done with um, Dunk Junk, I'm going to take a little break and give Dairy Queen a call. <laughs> Now, Los Angeles, 
they've already won a couple of championships this year. They won a basketball championship. They won a baseball championship. So I would think, you know, they if they sat out for, you know, the football championships, it's not the biggest thing. They'll need to go for a clean sweep here. Yeah. But we'll see. But their quarterback broke, their, broke his thumb last week playing oh, the Seahawks because I'm going to – he was throwing the ball, and his hand hit someone's helmet. Was it uh, DeMontre Moore? Uh, hit, hit his helmet and uh, broke the thumb. Uh, they didn't show a close-up of it, but I'm sure you can find it some some clips on this on YouTube. The uh, thumb was kind of just hanging there, and it was also dislocated, so he popped it back in. But uh, he didn't do very well for the rest of the game. Probably should yeah. just... I should have just told the doctors it really hurts. I can't play. So. Thank you, Cave Squeaker. Between be to be be, bleh, be between you and um, Robbie P two around seven thirty p.m. Pacific or eight p.m. Pacific. I promise. Okay, because I gotta do the food news also. And then call Dairy Queen and see what time you know they stop serving um burgers and stuff. Because I want to review those rotisserie chicken legs. Well, that's good. I have I have good games tomorrow. Uh, no Monday night game. They won't do Monday nights before the at the end of the season. Oh, okay. But yeah, then the playoffs sense. will playoff tournament will start next week. Now with the new rules, used to be um uh, um uh, twelve teams qualified to playoffs, but now four teams fourteen teams qualify. So what you're gonna end up having is Saturday and Sunday you'll have three games, one in the morning, one in the af- uh, afternoon, and one in the evening. And then for Saturday and Sunday you have another set of three games. Okay. Used to just be two and two. So, so that's going to be a lot of football. So, uh, you need to bring a lot of orders because it's going to be a 10-hour party with your friends. Yeah, exactly. It's going to need a lot of beer. A lot of beer and chips and, set and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be going to be an all-nighter. Or you can just be, you know, you can just eat an entire pizza and <laughs> it'll fill you up for the entire day. Hey, speaking of pizza, guys, the Outlaw Challenge ends a week from Sunday. So participate if you want to win a gift card. The record right now is seven minutes and thirty-two seconds by me, but I'm sure someone could break it. Maybe Nick will break now, it. Now, now, I won't spoil the results uh, of how Nick finished the pizza or not, and I won't spoil the results for you if the puppets were able to finish the pizza. Quit capitalizing, Jucifer. I'll have to take the mod away from you. Enough of that, dude. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't spam too much. Uh, well, I'm the referee. It, are all caps allowed or not? Um. That's just annoying, in my opinion. Oh, they're, they're not allowed then. No, no caps. Not allowed then. Any caps? Put people themselves. in timeout. Put people in timeout. They do caps because they're fucking annoying. And uh, so that'll be the next episode, right? Cartman will hold a outlaw challenge. Everyone's ready to eat pizza. I guess Cartman Climber will try to try, yeah. Who else? And the enemy girl, uh, what's her name? Alexa? Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds good. And um, uh, that wraps up the football report. And maybe Dunk Judge, you could try to play me sometime at a Luke Mogul. Dot me slash Outlaws Generation because I play every Saturday for half an hour, two p.m. Pacific. Are there any questions about the Dunk Judge? Any questions for the Dunk Judge? Anybody? Not all right. Like, like who's going to win the Super Bowl predictions? Uh, well, I hope the Saints lose, but I doubt it. They'll probably beat the, the Panthers. But the Bears must win. They lose. They're fucked. They got to win. I think it'll be the hardest to beat the Green Bay Packers because to go up there, it's always snowing. I'm starting to think the, the Packers are probably me in the Super Bowl, and that's my second favorite you team know, in the Packers. You know, and um, uh, no, no one's really good at playing in the snow unless you practice all the time. So Yeah. Yeah, they have, they probably have the best advantage unless someone, you know, happens to like get really good snow equipment and beat them there. But the Super Bowl, of course, won't be played in the snow. It's going to be played somewhere in the palm trees. So um, uh, we'll see. Okay. All right. So that will be, uh, that'll be it for now. Yep. And um, uh, I'll see you in the next Outlaw Challenge video, everyone. Sounds good, man. Don't judge out. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Mods, do your job outlaw. and ban people. And get someone get Miller here so he can do some banning. People are just causing drama. All right. I'll see you guys. All right, guys. So we're going to get to the food news. And then we'll um, t- um, take a break. Well, actually, I'm going to take a break right now and play. Um, um, I'm going to raid somebody. I'm going to raid Chuck's Food Reviews if he's still on there. Let me check. Is he still there, Chuck's Food Reviews? I'm going to check really quick. Let me call 
rating. <laughs> oh, he's still here. Here, I'm going to rate Chuck for you guys. I will be right back. Give me 10 minutes. Fellas! Got to give Dairy Queen a call. Like and do the show, so I'm going to do that like button, comment. Mm-hmm. So about the hours? Uh, how many more hours is that until your live goes out? I was already up. I was thinking. Let's see the match rules. This qualification's off. Did you know the amount of security ah. detail that comes with that type of travel arrangement? It's a small army. Well, then the challenge <laughs> will be feeling lucky that you only have to get through the champs to own the title. Oh, well, Lord. I mean, only one man truly owns a million dollar belt buyer, and we know who that is. Anyone else just has it on the loan. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of risk, Byron. Help me make sense of this decision. We must have had a mm. plan here. And one of those uh. Kurt Angle exploiting the opening. <laughs> What'd you use to see that glitch? Everybody makes me feel like I'm a little Oh. Amazing reflexes on the Bob and Ashley. Oh, Bob and Ashley take it out, Bob and Ashley. Oh, my word. Knee drop. Nasty, so precise. What's up, my brothers? Your boy. I'm back, baby. My brothers. Today we went to 7 Eleven, puppy. And we got the, the new Reese's snack cake. And this is, this is brand new, my brothers. It's got uh, 280 calories, 21 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein. Not bad, Betty. Let's see if this is good, guys. Looks like it's got peanut butter on top, and it looks like like uh, chocolate cake at the bottom. We're gonna find out, puppy. Reese's snack cake. Oh yeah, puppy. <laughs> Early in the morning, my brother. This is 
bear with me. <laughs> it's a little cube. I thought it was like a cake. It looks like uh, what you might call it. Those little candies uh, back in the day did a freaking ball. Let's try this out, guys. Mmm. Wow. This is freaking amazing, guys. I love the peanut butter on top. It's the typical Reese's uh, peanut butter. It's nice and creamy and smooth. The freaking bomb, guys. I can't believe how good this is. Mm. Unbelievable. This is one of the best candies I ever had, guys. Better than the Reese's regular cup. Peanut butter cup, better than that, guys. I swear to God. You know your boy never states you wrong. The Reese's snack cake, my brothers. Five oh freaking day. It doesn't really have like a cake texture. It's more like a chocolate bar, you know, uh, type of texture. You know, uh, candy bar texture. You don't really taste like chocolate, even though it looks like chocolate. You get a nice peanut butter, strong flavor. And let me let me try how let's see how, if I can get if I can this out. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit like chocolate cake. But it tastes more like a candy bar. Remember, it's amazing. <laughs> That's the Reese's Snack Cake Bar, my brothers. If you see it in the store, Bobby, buy it. Five all freaking day. Take care, my brothers. Hey everybody, it's your boy Robbie P2 here. So Robbie P2 family, please check it down below here. We're standing outside here. If you can see, there's a Starbucks inside the Target store here. I know you can barely see it here. So try not to get customers in the view. So, and of course we're doing a little hashtag Thirsty Thursday. Last time we did the regular Starbucks eggnog frappuccino which has the coffee in it here plus eggnog and, and uh, ice uh, milk and ice blended together this time we got the, the eggnog cream frappuccino which has which replaces coffee with heavy whipping cream plus also has the milk eggnog the ice whipped cream cinnamon and nutmeg here all blended in top with some nutmeg so the reason why I went to Target, though, is because in the Target app, for a limited time, there's a coupon for an extra 20% off any handcrafted, like, Frappuccino or Espresso blended beverage. So we got to take that. And also, if you have a Starbucks app, there's a game called Starbucks for Life, where if you have purchase, you can get to play for some prizes. So, and if, and if you don't win that game... We win with a delicious frappuccino. Mm. Which I can tell you. First taste here. I taste a little more eggnog in the cream one than the coffee one. So I think I gave coffee one 8 out of 10. This one's going to get a 9 out of 10. Just for a more eggnog taste. So... This is, these are both regularly about $6 for venti, but 
we paid like four something with a discount from Target. So please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And please thumbs this video up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that big red subscribe button and ring that bell. And hope everybody has a merry and has a safe and wonderful, joyous holiday. And we'll see you back here for 2020. Oh, and next week, we are doing a, a collaboration with my guys from the Foodie Federation. So stay tuned. So stay happy, stay safe, stay positive. Robbie P2 out. Canva is a free tool that makes designing anything easy. Canva has all my content creation needs covered. Okay. Reviews, aka Joey's World Tour. I'm back! Foodie Federation! Whoa, 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 whoa. Today, Joey's World Tour. I am teaming up with Foodie Federation. It's a group of us uh, food reviewers who are just trying to, you know, have a good time and share with you the kind of foods we like. And today I'm teaming up with Outlaws Generation. Um, and you will see all the links below. Outlaws Generation, Freddy Foodie King, uh, Redneck Snack Reviews. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, Gary 200 and Robbie P2. Woo, 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 woo. So please check out their um, reviews. Um, the theme today is uh, our hometown or state where we live. So um, we're, uh, the kind of food that represents each state that we live in. And we're, you know, that's, about, you know, that's the little theme behind today's Foodie Federation review. And like I said, you will see all of their links below. Please go to their channels, check out their review. Please share, like, and subscribe to their channels and tell them, uh, leave in the comment section that Joey sent you. I really appreciate that. Muchachos and muchachas. Woo, 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 woo. Foodie Federation in the house. So uh, we thought we'd end the year with a uh, new uh, team up today. Foodie Federation. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm from California, yay, and I'm doing the California burger from Carl's Jr. Whoa, 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 whoa. What makes it Californian? Thousand Island. <laughs> so Thousand Island dressing, and we got some grilled onions. It's very California. It's uh, um, it's right up there with uh, the most famous burger in town, and I couldn't make it because the line was out the door and instead of uh it's called out and in but you know if you flip out the words you know what i'm talking about and this is their version carl's jr so we're gonna give this a shot today it's got grilled onions um lechuga which is uh, lettuce in australian and tomatoes and all the good stuff on here a patty and it's all about the thousand island dressing california is known for their their ways of eating and so it just looks amazing the way it looks <laughs> so let's give this a shot today Woo, i'm really excited here we go ah. mm. 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 yes i love that thousand island on here muchachos you know, it kind of lubes up the burger. You know, everything just slips and slides down your throat. Ah! Mmm! Mmm! Yeah! Very good fiddles here. Woo! And... So, California... Uh... It was uh, founded in... In 1933... By the, uh... Uh, I believe it's the 
Indians, and then um, the Spanish came through and made like um, um, like churches along the way, and then California just grew and it grew and grew and grew, and now look at it today. It's like it could be like its own country. That's how much the GP gross thing is. Woo, 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 woo. And we have all California pizza. We have California cuisine. And we even have California burgers. Woo, 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 woo. Mm. 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 Very good. It's all about the beautiful cheese on here. And the Thousand Island is the key, everyone. The key. Woo, 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 woo. And the beautiful grilled sweet onions on here. Delicious. Oh boy, so on a scale 110, this is a nice 8.0, everyone. California burger from Carl's Jr. Be there if you swear, you will like it a lot. They do a great job here at Carl's Jr. I love Carl's Jr. My most favorite burger of all is the double western cheeseburger. Woo 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 woo! And what better than to have the western out west here in California? Woo! But anyways, muchachos and muchachas, thank you for tuning in to Foodie Federation Team Up Today slash collab. I'm so proud of all you guys. Uh, please go to their channels, Outlaws Generation, uh, Freddy Foodie King, Red Deck Snack Reviews, woo -woo 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 -woo, Gary 200, and Robbie P2. You all see the links below. Please tell them Joey sent you. And just you know, become, make them part of your lives. Because, you know, the more reviewers we have, the better. If they have different opinions and everything, and this is a good crew, good group here. The Foodie Federation is going off in 2021. Be even better. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I'm glad you stopped by. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you on the flip side. This is Joey from Joey's Super Cool Food Review. Say yeah! <laughs> and we're back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing right now? Now, before we do this, I want to make this big right now, really big. I want to show you what I got for Christmas from one of my fans. I know we had our ups and downs, but he is one of my editors. I'm going to show you. Let's, let's, let's move this. This is from one of my fans. Lollipop Cop sent me this, a Bret Hart baseball card. Or a wrestling card, you call it, on the back. Thank, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Thank you, Lily Pop Cup, for the Bret Hart legend. Nice card. I'll keep that on my shelf with my other baseball cards. And he sent me something in the mail right here. I'm opening this up. This is from Lollipop Pop Cup. He made this. I was looking for this while I was uh, taking a break. And Dairy Queen closes at 10 for food. So thank you, Lollipop Pop Cup, for the brick. Anyone comes to my house, I could throw this brick in their face if, if for protection. So I'm going to put that um, back on the shelf. Good gift. Like the Bret Hart. Oh, we got one more person coming right here. Rudolph Stanley Gum. Tiffany, Joe, and Cartman will be here right now, guys. Let's chat with you guys. Then we're going to get to some food news. Then I'm going to get Nick on the show after that. And... Um, Talk to Montana B really quick, and then we'll have a quick 10-minute break, um, a video from Redneck Snacks, and then Gary, and then call and shows all the way till I'm nice. So here we got one guy. Hi, everyone. It's a car fox. The car fox is here. How's everyone doing right now? Like I said, Lolly Pop Cop, thank you for that gift. And, um, yeah, it's going on my um, shelf. So, we got a card, we got a good show in an anime series. It's really good. You need to check it out. 
Outlaws is going to do an episode at the end of this month. Episode 2. Yeah, he's going to do episode 2. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, Cartman, do you know your buddy Slimer is? Uh, Slimer, where are you? You may be scared tonight, Mike. What are you scared about, Cartman? So the fans aren't going to be happy they don't get to see Slimer. Oh, we got one guy over here. Oh, here's Slimer. He's right here. He's hiding. Hello, everyone. Big dog fans. Glad to see you all watching tonight. Yep, a puppet episode at the end of this month. I think Outlaw should make a poll and make a vote. Should I play Luigi's Mansion? Mike plays Deluxe Brothers? Or let's get James and Tron to play Street Fighter V. Make the poll, Mike, after the stream. I can do that for you, Slimer. And I got one more guy, Cincinnati Joe. It's Cincinnati Joe here, guys. Looking forward to football. I know our Bengals aren't going to make it, but oh well, we'll try next year. Yep, I know, guys. It's all good. So let's get to the food news right here, guys. Let's get to the food news. Let's fix this up. The Circus of Snack, Cave, it's going to be like an hour. Cave's cool with it, he doesn't mind. Hell yeah, Car Fox. A brick, well. Slimer clap from Big Dog. Slimer pull. So let's get to the food news really here quick, guys. And um, we're just going to have it up in here while I talk to you guys. So let's get to the food news. Let's see if it's showing on here. All right, here we go. So we're at the food right here, guys. So 2021, El Polo Loco. I, I don't even give a fuck about it. Subway's offering double the protein meat for $2 more. I think I saw one of Dane's food reviews. He, did, he reviewed the protein bowls. I'm going to look into the protein bowls later on. Like a salad for me. Um, the mint chocolate shake makes its way back to select Arby's location. The brownie dough and blizzard is the January 2021 blizzard of month. Blizzard of the month? Eh, no. What else do they have on here? Whoa. Arby's refreshes two for six dollars value meals. They're gonna have the buffalo crispy sandwich. Um, the crispy fish sandwich. Why'd you get rid of the the, the, the crispy chicken ranch. That was like my favorite. The roast turkey and Swiss. And the classic Arby's cheddar. I don't have a Dunkin' Donuts, so I don't care. Krispy Kreme offers two original glazed dozens for 12 bucks Until 2021. That's a lot of donuts. You could probably make lots of fucking um, burgers out of that. A donut burger. You ever seen a donut burger? I tried a donut burger a long time ago. It wasn't that bad. Um, Arby's is spotted back, bringing back their white mac, mac and cheese. Hmm, not bad. And they're bringing back their Hawaiian fish deluxe. Hope they keep that for a while. Buy one, get one. Western bacon cheeseburger or famous star with cheese for a dollar at our Hardee's for a limited time. Then you have a buy one eight inch sub, get one free at Quiznos. Well, that's our hill for so never mind. <laughs> I didn't know why I read that. But McDonald's offering free delivery with Uber Eats from December 31st to that January 3rd. So get yourself some Mickey D's, guys, if you're hungry. A new BLT Ranch Big Chicken Sandwich. I think I saw um, Pete this out. He reviewed that. Dairy Queen put together a $6 bacon cheeseburger meal deal. Okay, if I see that tonight, I think I need to do a food review on that, guys, because... That looks pretty interesting. I mean, you get a Sunday with it, fries, and a drink for six bucks? That's fucking amazing, guys. All right, so go over here. Whoops. Ads, ads, ads. All fucking ads I get. All right, and we have um, buy one, get one free burger at um, Shake Shack. Another burger place I might want to look into, guys, this year is um, Mr. Beast Burger. Shout out to Mr. Beast for, um, you know, he makes like $10 million a year with YouTube. Good for him. Um, he he made, he has 300 restaurants. 
And I saw Freddy the Foodie King did a review on Mr. Beast, and other food reviewers peep this out. I need to look into that. I think there's one somewhere in Lake Union in Seattle, so I'll have to look into it and see if I place. They don't deliver, though, so I'm going to have to fucking drive there myself. So that sucks. Dairy Queen, new rotisserie-style chicken bites. Now, those I need to review. Those those look fucking awesome. I mean, let's, let's read about it, guys, right here. So, rotisserie chicken bites are available. Basket, rotisserie chicken bites paired with crispy fries, toast, toast, <laughs> Texas toast, and house-made Hidden Valley Ranch or another dipping sauce of choice. On a salad, lettuce, chopped tomatoes, bacon crumbles, shredded cheddar cheese, red cabbage. Oh, not bad for that. I'll have the sort of naked, naked chicken style ones. Um, if you go to Panda Express, they have a new Shanghai rib spotted at Panda Express. The sesame seeds. Looks pretty cool. Um, let's go to number three. Kellogg's unveils new Rice Krispie tre um, treats, home style. My Taco Bell still does not have it, guys. Um, they unveil the new Midnight Berry Freeze. I... I don't know if my Taco Bell has that. I did like yesterday get uh, make a bacon club chalupa. But they still did not have the midnight freeze. So they have it. I will review it. Maybe I'll do it on a live stream review for you guys. Kellogg's welcome back new Frosted Flakes and Fruit Loops cereal bars. Something snack snacks could review snack king cole. Um, Applebee's welcomes back um, chicken wonton tacos. We're just going over two weeks that I missed here. Um, the last time I was alive was back in um, the 19th. <laughs> All right, I'll get to the 20th and we'll, and we'll get to the talk to me. New clutch bucket arrives at TGI Fridays. I don't have a TGI Fridays around there. That kind of stinks. Long John's is offering now macaroni. At Long John Silver location. Interesting. Subway, you had a protein bowls. already talked about that. Anyone you want. I might get the, the steak one. Steak's pretty healthy for you. For you. Free two stack of buttermilk. Oh, never mind. That's, that's old news. Carl's Jr. is offering. Yeah, that's old news too. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Doritos unveils new Doritos 3D Crunch. I've never had their 3D Crunch before. But when I see a spicy ranch, i got to find it and review it for you guys. So... I'm going to try to see if I can find a location. Burger King, you're really fucking up lately, Burger King. you got to put some new shit out there. You haven't had anything. I reviewed Burger King like four months now. Maybe five months. There hasn't been nothing. It's just the same fucking shit there at Burger King. And um, Jack in the Box offers those bagels um, two for $4. And that's it for the food news right there. Oh. Hold on, I got something, something I um I came up with. Um, one more thing I need to check up, guys. This is really weird. Um, if you saw one of the videos, um, Dame Drops did a he reviewed a McDonald's spam Oreo burger. What? I've had spam before. It's not too bad, but with Oreo in there, that sounds really disgusting. But um, I'm going to talk about it later on when I get a hold of Nick. Talk about something about that. And KFC. Okay, let's read about KFC a console. This really confuses me right here. Okay, here we go. KFC. Here we go. KFC launches. Okay, let me make sure this is on the food news for you guys. I want to make sure this is here. KFC launches a game console with built-in chicken warmer. What? KFC console. Fast food chain KFC launching a game console that warms up chicken. The chicken chamber. Oh my god. What the hell? The chicken. The chicken chamber will keep its content hot, ready for consumption during intense gaming sessions. KFC is the company said the, the console was designed by a global hardware maker. And could play top level games like other gaming machines. Many people th thought the gaming console was a spoof marketing campaign when it was revealed in June. It says KFC to create 54 jobs in the UK and, and, and Ireland. 
50 drops finger licking good tag do the coronavirus and uh, PS5 versus who will win <laughs> well PS5s are still fucking hard to find but I did see an Xbox X last night but oh well KFC says new console had a custom built cooling system that uses heat produced by its components to warm the chicken chamber this machine is capable of running games at top level specs all at the top keeping your meal warm for you to enjoy during your gaming experience what's not to like KFC spokesman Mark Chevers told the BBC if Sony or Microsoft want any tips on how to engineer a chicken chamber for their efforts next time, they'd be welcome to get in touch. The fast food chain said it currently had no details on the expected price of the gaming console or a release date. In February, KFC and Crocs announced a limited edition shoe covered in fried chicken. KFC console link advertisement campaign began. Yeah, I already, I already talked about that. We all know the console war is vicious, but we're very confident in the KFC console as our flagship. Entry added, Mr. Shivers. Same stuff. Interesting. Well, that's it for the food news, guys. I'm going to get Nick on the call and show. And then after that, we're going to get a couple more food. We'll get Montana B and then get Gary 200. And then we'll start the call and show at 8, like I said. Or 8.15. <laughs> All right. Let's go to... Let's go to back to me right here. All righty. So I'm going to get Nick on right now, talk to him for a little bit, and because I'm curious about this spam fucking burger. I'm going to give Nick a call. So let's talk with the dunk judge, guys. Hi. Hey, got... this is me, Nick. Hey, Nick. How's it going, Nick? Hey. Hi, outlaws. How are we all doing? We're doing great. All right. So, how was your Christmas? Give Freddy a beat. Let's be... <laughs> Cream. That's funny, what Samus Knight just said. Uh, good. Oh, had a great Christmas. Had a great Christmas. Got some good games. How about you, Nick? Oh, yeah. You got the gift I gave you, right? Yeah. Link's Awakening. Thank you very much for that game. You play that on Twitch? Um, not. I played it last night. I think tonight. Um, I'm gonna make oh, a poll you, oh, okay. and let the people decide what game I should play tonight. Should I play the Super Mario Deluxe Brothers or should um Slimer play um Luigi, Luigi's Mansion Three, or should James play Street Fighter Five? Mm, good question. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, is it is it a new version of? Yeah, it's a it's a new version of Street Fighter Five, right? That yeah. Stand in there. Dan's a Dan's a new download, uh, downloadable character now. Oh, he is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you know the pink, uh, pink Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I um, uh, yeah, I got the gifts you gave me too. Awesome. Yeah, I got the uh, the anime, uh, the Fantasy Star Universe two anime. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, nice. So, um, uh, it's pretty good based off the based off the video game. Yeah. I remember we used to play the old Fantasy Star Online on the Sega Dreamcast. We used to play that, you know, uh, back in our college days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, Nick, uh, I want to know, you're the one that told me about this. I didn't have a lot of information. What's all about this Spam Burger? I'm a little curious because I mostly talked about the console thing. Okay, well, uh, I guess in China, uh, McDonald's, I think is a one-day sale. Oh, they okay. might do, they, or they might be do it some more, but they're mm -hmm. selling this uh, hamburger with this sandwich. It just has two hamburger buns inside, you know, some mayonnaise and two slices of grilled spam. Yes, actual spam. Actual spam, damn. And and here's here's, here's the, the most weirdest thing. Okay, they put these um uh, Oreo cookies, you know, crumbles on top of the spam. That just sounds really sandwich. disgusting to me. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, Dame Drops. He did the video of it. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't think he went to China and picked it up, right? Or he probably just made it himself. Yeah, he probably made it himself. But I'm going to have to rewatch it again. Uh, so um, uh, he took a while to eat it. Uh, he didn't He didn't need to stare at it for, like, I don't know, like five minutes just talking about it. He didn't, <laughs> yeah. didn't want to try it out. In fact, he played none of those videos. Something about, like, hot dogs before he got to it. Hot dogs? Oh, wow. Then he finally took a bite of it and said, you know what? 
he's not super bad. I'm not gonna eat, try it again, but you know, it's it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you know, with food, um, uh, you know, spam's got your basic components. You know, your major food groups. You know, yeah, it salty, does. <clears throat> uh, what was it? salty, fatty, and protein. And then you add the sweet to it. Now it's basically, you know, like you know, salted caramel on bacon. You know, whatever com combinations of that. So, Interesting. Uh, and Nick, you're serious? You're going to be doing this challenge because it ends next Sunday, and then I'll have to draw some winners. Oh no! I, I did At least the some people did it. Challenge. I I, I, did, I did the challenge. I'm, uh, I'll send the video to you. Okay. I'm uh, and I'm uh, it's. I'm gonna have to have some more Pepto Bismol here. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. Uh, good thing is, uh, good thing is, I had ginger ale with it, and um, uh, you works. said any soda, not diet coke. Ginger, diet coke's been stomach. allowed. Yep. So I'm um, uh, uh, now what other food challenge? I mean, what other uh, interesting YouTube videos? Oh yeah, I do them. Uh, Outlaws Cookout. Now that's on the schedule. Yes. And what I figure is that you could also do a combination, like a bonus segment at the end of it. A bonus uh, segment, okay. Where you just make a quick uh, mix spam burger. I don't know what you call it, the cookie spam burger. I know somebody that could eat it. I could pay him for it. <laughs> well, you don't want to eat You're not going to eat it? No, I, don't, I think it? oil's on there. It's just disgusting. Like, oh, well, who? But I know someone that could eat some nasty food. Uh, who do you get to eat it? Maybe if I... Um, Give Montana B something or in return, maybe. Hey, yeah, he, oh, totally. He's on a payroll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get him to eat it. Yeah. Call him over. Just, 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 just tell him it's some, uh, just tell him it's um, uh, like black bean barbecue sauce and black bean barbecue sauce. <laughs> Love it. That's like, a good uh, idea. And, and then and pork chops or something. Pork chops. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll have we'll have him eat it. Hey, who knows if he get a million that's views that's if he pukes, okay. if he doesn't like it. <laughs> who knows? Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that, that would be fun. That happens. Yeah. Um, oh, there's another YouTuber we're talking about. Um, Mr. Beast. Yeah, I was Everyone talking was about talking this about Beast Burger place. There is one in Lake Union I told people about, um, but they don't yep. deliver. I have to fucking drive there myself. Um, uh... You just have to do a carry out then, right? Yeah, I'll probably have to just drive there and fucking get filmed reviewing it there myself. Who knows? Maybe get lucky and oh. bump into Mr. Beast. No, Mr. Beast is really in South South Carolina if you bump into him. Yeah, that's right. You can't do that. No. And Mr. Beast also had another video. Oh, he did? Uh, what do you call it? The um, uh, YouTube uh, Best of 2020. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, so uh, it's just just compilation. Only posted you know, my best of twenty twenty. That's hell exploding on YouTube right now. It's almost at eight hundred reviews. It is. It is. Hey, you know, hey, all I need to go. All I have to do is just rehash your old videos. And I'm uh, slap them together and I'm uh, put some commentary and over hundred uh, likes. So I thank everybody yeah, out those... there watching, giving the likes on their hundred likes. Wow, I think that video you know, explodes. Good. Recap, things at, recap things at the end of the year. So yeah, one that's of the things, a good idea. You know, so um, uh, Mr. Beast said I'm uh Several of the topics, you know, he noted in his video um, on, uh, you know, things like covering the, um, uh, we talk about uh, big things going on on YouTube, uh, big movements like the election, Black Lives Matter, and um, uh, he also said something about Belle Daphne, I think she's a Twitch person that got banned for nudity and then I'm gonna no the, the bath the, the bath uh, the bath lawyer. a lot of these trick shot the sports videos oh yeah oh uh you know Netflix also has um uh, that one movie that they made you know, the best of 20 I mean I'm uh, the year 2020 mm -hmm. good riddance damn uh, it's not a, not a great movie they it's always get like dislikes a... on YouTube with the best of 2020 but I don't know maybe, maybe yeah. I'll check it out it's like it's like it's like a com it's like a mockumentary. So as you know, um, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, he swears a bunch, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, and I think um, uh, John Travolta is dressed like Santa Claus or something. That commercial. 
He was. Oh no, I didn't see him in there. Oh, that, no, I'm uh, thinking about no, the Capital One Hugh commercial. Hugh Grant was in there. Hugh Grant, Hugh Grant plays like this historian. Um, uh, they have someone pretending to be the queen. I think she was from the. I wonder the same actor. I wonder if it was the same actor from the, the Crown, you know, from Netflix. Never seen it, but people did want to mention in the chat. Yes, guys, it, it wasn't supposed to come out till January eighth, a week from um. Yesterday, but apparently Cobra Kai is now on Netflix. I've watched about four episodes. It so is. Far. It is. Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's my I'm, number I'm, one show I'm gonna, right now. I'm gonna binge it as soon as I can. Yeah, I'm on season three. Yeah, I'm on freaking Cobra Kai. Yeah, and I'm, uh, yeah, I have Miguel. Guys, ass kicked. So I guess we'll see how, how he's doing. Yeah, um, I'll give you guys one video of um of um Gary two hundred, and then we'll um we'll get to the Colin show at eight or eight ten or so. But remember, I gotta go at nine. Yeah, okay, so... Um, Gotta get Montana B on there, too, on the call-in. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I'll tell them about the... Oh, well, yeah, I'll try to mention the, the Spam Burger, but let's just, just say it's a pork chop sandwich, okay? Okay, pork chop sandwich sounds good. All right. Sounds good. We'll go with that. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, then, uh, you have a good one, and I'm, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the games. See you later, the football Nick. football games, right? See you later, Okay, Nick. good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. All right, guys, I'm going to get Montana B, and then after that, um, play a couple of videos, and then we will do the call show till 9, and that'll be all she wrote. All right, well, let's get Montana B, because he wanted me to give him a call. I'm just going to hold the phone on here and make sure everything is on well. Hey, Montana B. How's it going, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. My question is, what gifts did you get for Christmas? Okay, let's see. I got Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I got some anime from you. Okay. I got High, I got high School of the Dead, Pitch Up of Horrors, School Life, and let's see, I got Young Blackjack. And one, and one other, I can't remember. Okay, are you willing to try this pork chop burger that I'm going to have in one of my cookout videos? Yes, guys, I'll be filming some cookout yes, videos tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Now, um, if okay, it's it's a tasty cookout burger, and I, like I said, I'll pay you to eat it. Maybe I pay you like in an anime or something. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay, now about the vaccine for um, 2020, would you honestly um, get the vaccine shot? Thinking about it, I gotta make sure it's 100% safe. Yeah, we don't all want to turn to alligators, guys. I'm trolling, basically. Um, um, South sure. American um, Prime Minister, he said you'll turn into an alligator if you have it. <laughs> really? Biggest troll in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Watch, people yeah. are gonna make videos of this. I, I don't care, it's called free advertisement. But um, yeah. we'll see you tomorrow, Montana B. I'm going to film the cookout, and um, we'll, we'll see if you try that pork chop sandwich for that anime I'll try have it. to bribe you for. Oh, All right. Cool. All right, Montana B. Great talking to you, man, and um, have a happy new year, man. Happy new year to you, outlaw. All right. See, see you. See you later. Bless you. Bye. All right, guys. That was Montana B. Um, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back at 8 o'clock for the call-in show. So let's get to some to a couple more foodie federations and I'll be it. Welcome back to Redneck Snack Food Review. So, quick review for you folks. Um, I went to Dairy Queen because I was excited to try their rotisserie nuggets. And uh, I got surprised by a couple items that were more fun to review. The shakes. These rotisserie nuggets are kind of the size of a Chick-fil-A nugget. You get six of them in a basket. And the basket's kind of pricey if you ask me. Uh, I think it's six or seven dollars. 
so it's kind of expensive. So I'm a little ticked off with Dan Quinn. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta do better. If you want to charge us six, seven dollars, give us more nuggets. Give us twelve, something like that. Fill us up. I got more food in terms of like amount and mass with French fries out of this than I got out of chicken. So I'll be eating these two pieces. I'll take my time just to tell you all about it. But before I get to that, like, comment, share, subscribe, please just subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Red Neck Snack and Food. Again, steering wheel, I can't do nothing about it because uh, I'm in a different vehicle. So, oh well. Here we go. You know what? It's it's not bad. It is rotisserie. You get that nice flavor from it. But it is pretty basic. Not bad, but basic. I think I'll give it a seven. You know, that was a pretty quick review, wasn't it? But I mean like Think about those rotisserie chickens you get at the grocery store. They you cut them up, big old chicken. Um, not a big chicken, a small chicken, but you know what I mean. You kind of it, it reminds me of that. A little less dry, a little a little more moisture in there, but that's good. That's a good thing. That's why I'm giving it a seven because it's pretty good. But I would probably recommend you get a sauce if you're that type of person. If you do get gravy with that bread, I, I think you get gravy. I hope it's gravy. Um, cause they had been doing ranch, um, they have a new ranch thing with their chicken tenders, but I think this is gravy, so hopefully. But even if it's not, whatever. Um, but pretty much basic review. Pretty simple. Size of Chick-fil-A nugget. Healthier though. That was definitely healthier. Um, I wouldn't just go to get six of them. A little too pricey, but does have enough flavor to make it worth it I would say if you go and try these other things like the new shakes that they got or get a blizzard get these nuggets they're pretty good but just know it's a little overpriced so hope you enjoyed this review and I will see y'all around Prices. They sell burgers. Hello. Today, I'll be talking about my top three favorite local places as part of the Foodie Federation. We're all doing a, a top favorite or our favorite place, local place. So I'll have the link to Outlaw Generation and everyone else who's going to do their local place for their state and town down below. So for my state, and city of the city of Bloomington, Washington. Here are my top three favorite local places here. At number three is Crazy Eric's. And Crazy Eric's been open since 1961 for almost 60 years. And they still got the best prices. They sell burgers, hot dogs, cheeseburgers, corn dogs, milkshakes with real ice cream, and yummy, yummy garlic fries. At number two is Island Hut. And Island Hut sells real yummy Hawaii style food. So it feels like you're in Hawaii. And every day they have a different $10 special. This is one of my specials. Comes with rice, mac salad, and you get a main course is different each day. So every single day, you get a different $10 special. So for 10 bucks, you get all this. So check the website to see what the daily special is for that day. And number one is Noah's Ark. And Noah's Ark's been open since 1974. 
for 46 years now. And their theme is Noah's Ark. So you got animals outside and around the building and the stuff painted on the walls around the building. Like nice Noah's Ark art. And it's just a really nice, cool little local place here in Bremerton, Washington. And they have lots of yummy food too. They got burgers, fries, hot dogs, fish. They also have milkshakes and floats and tons of stuff. And the food here is absolutely amazing. Like better than even Crazy Eric's. It's a bit more pricey, but you get your money's worth. You get a whole lot of more yummy food. And the inside has Noah's Ark stuff in it too. And yeah, this place is really awesome. So if you're ever in Bremerton, check out Noah's Ark. And this is the Ark Burger. Check it out. It's a nice, pretty much a bacon cheeseburger. But it's amazing. And this burger is made with real crispy bacon. Check it out. Mm -mm -mm. So check out Noah's Ark. When you are in Bremerton, Washington. You can't go wrong. Anyways, I hope you like my top three favorite local places here in Bremerton, Washington. So, yeah. Like I said, the Foodie Federation, a bunch of them are going to do it for their state. And the links to all them are going to be down below. I think there's like three or four of them or so. But anyways, this is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, catch you all later. Bye-bye. What's up, it's Chuck Food Reviews, and today we got us a review from Subway. Got another review from Subway, and there's a new, well, not a new flavor, but they want to do these for people on carb diets, no bread. It is the new Subway protein bowls. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I put a little bit of steak and cheese protein bowl. With a little focaccia. Thumbnail. And I love this subway. If you want to eat healthy, place to go, well, sort of. But this is a better way because you don't have none of that bread. So, yeah, they give us a fork. Now, I've got to open this up. Can't get the fork open. What the hey? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Gotta get some of that meat. Mmm, nom, nom. Mmm, what? What is it? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, good. <clears throat> Real good. It actually tastes better. I like this as a protein bowl than a regular sub. So, I'm gonna give this a they can have the, like in different flavors, but I'm gonna give it to 4.9 out of 5. It's good. If you want something different without having the bread on there, this is good to get. So remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if it's 4.9. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Share. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we're back, guys. Looks like it's 8 o'clock. It's time for the call-in show. I'm at work, but everyone, I look up at somebody else reviewing it on the phone. Sorry, Snack. That's just life, man. When you do live streams, you got to be entertaining and stuff. But we're at our final main event, the call-in show now. So, 
and then I'll make a poll after this and then get dinner at nine. So set the alarm till Mr. Stroman goes off. When he goes, it's over. We're done. So set it right now to no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nine o'clock, one hour. Cave Squeaker, are you still here? I'm gonna see if I can get um, if I can get freaking um. Robbie, because this is what people have been waiting for. Thank you, everyone, for all staying so far. Hopefully, everyone behaves well. All right, let's get Robbie on the call in show. Let's see if Cave Squeaker is ready right now. I want to check. All right, Cave Squeaker, I'm going to give you a call, okay? Sound good, man? Well, thank you for being here for me, Snack. Remember, guys, the number one troll out there and the goblin slit that doesn't like goblins is James Ada Trine. And he apparently he's going to have more uh, Mockery Thy Bee episodes, um, apparently mocking Ale anime girl Alexa and other people. James would like to know if anyone would like to make a Mockery Thy Bee on him, please say it right now in the chat. Or for what, forever hold your peace. All right, but I'm going to see if Cave Squeaker is Cave Squeaker ready to be on the call -in show with Robbie. I'm going to get Robbie on right now and I'm going to get Cave Squeaker on right now. Let's see if he answers. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of Robbie really quick, guys, and get Cave Squeaker with Robbie. All right, let's see if. All right, we got Cave Squeaker here. I'm gonna get Robbie for you, okay? Hello, Susan. How's it going? Again, Robbie for you, man. Hang on. It's good to talk to you, Johnny Downy Eats. Hey, we got Robbie on right here. Got Robbie Happy New Year. You. Happy New Year to you, too, Johnny Downy Eats. To all the positive people out there, you know where you are. Happy New Year. Yep, 2021. Fuck 2020. Yes, put that out. Big is awesome. brought on behind. We don't need that bullshit. All right? That shit shouldn't have happened in the first place. Where is Snack going to be in? That's my question. Is he going to Kent? I know Why? You do that ball. I hold you on, 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 stuck in smack. Yeah. It's good to talk to Robbie and um, Cave Squeak around here, guys, on the Colin Show. How was your guys' Christmas um, and New Year's? So I was away week. Okay, so I got a question for Cave Squeaker here. Can you hear him all right? Can you hear him all right, Cave? I can hear him. Yeah! yeah here's okay, go ahead, Robbie. So Cave Squeaker, why do you, A, why do you keep stealing my content? B, why do you keep harassing me? You know, by giving me random calls, spoof calls from local businesses, from my own family, from my friends, all that stuff here. Just why? Uh, I don't know why. To my one table, but no, Mrs. Mrs. Gus down right here. So you better come clean right now. <laughs> this is entertainment, I'm guys. No. Everywhere is separate. Answer the question. End of the end of this month. No, I'm talking about ever since you found me on YouTube. Why do you keep using my And I'm for that to put that No doubt.
a cave. And um, Robbie, what is your thoughts on the Molly Pop Cop as the editor for the puppet series? I don't think I really want to talk about a lot of Then do the bad. I'm, I'm just trying to really, you know, have nothing to do with him. This is a good episode. We're going to hear the Tony's dance. And the Tony's showing us. We're going to tap my end. But, it's a long last week. Okay. So, John Downey, a.k.a. Cave Squeaker. Yeah. Cave Squeaker, again. Why do you keep harassing me? You know, when I ask you to stop. What I end up back in the end of the trip. Stop your damn channel in the first place. When you don't even ask permission, why am I on your channel, you know, in, in the first place? Why do you have videos of me on your channel without getting permission from Numero Uno? Me! I know you like home, but please move on and do an auto story now with that. Not Seth and Moby, no. We want a good, solid storyline with no trauma involved the family. No, 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 no. So pay, pay attention to this, uh, to this storyline here. Because when I talk like this, I need to be over it. But, yeah, number two, number two that comes pretty off. That doesn't answer my question. Oh, well then, guys. So, that's keep us off. I want those videos taken down. Bop, bop, bop. I definitely will have a series around. He wants your videos. He wants you to take the videos down of Robbie taken down. No. It's not funny. No. It's not funny at all, bro. It's going to get you. Well, boy, and you're hard as hell. You know, how about... Those copyright strikes that you got, do you deserve every every single one of them? I say yes. Uh, all right, so, Paul Heron, why do people use the user Apple for out that, um, that interview for? Well, I must say, I, I must say, I want to, I want to give, I might, I gotta say, Robbie, you kind of did get a little chuckles when you saw, um, the, the space video, right? And then were you on Married with Children? That was kind of... Creative. Yeah, but still, ideal. What I'm trying to teach him is that he's going to write people without their permission. I don't know why, but about the stone out with Warbear, I think? I don't know, but. Cave, yes or no? Just answer my question, okay? No. And and she can please get out of meals and I know why I get out of this ball, but alright. I don't like people putting me on the damn channel without my permission. Do I make myself clear? Come on! A woman a leha and they are leha is like a movie, so hey, stop it, stop it. Why do we do it? And just and 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 what we just come hold down and we do our post to do and yeah. So okay, this is my turn here. And you know what and you also know another thing, just to know, I don't like you know when people like I'm trying not to talk over you, but I'm making it clear I don't like when people talk over me. That's very I don't know if you learn this here. But you gotta understand a little thing called respect for one another. So I would appreciate you. That's good! Because Big E is his first title event with a. a. Intercontinental Zeppelin. So, again, why do you keep stealing my content when you know it's wrong? He got bodies. Oh, okay. He got him. And then all of the, his kid, um, the, the, yeah, he got here last week, okay, yeah, and then he said about, I'm, I am, now I'm, now I'm a boy, dude, why? 
What I do is for also compare to Joe. But I'm trying to have a conversation with you. No. Fuck you, Cave Squeaker. Hope you lose your fucking job. I need this to be over because we're the movie I live how to have two is done on. I'm so sorry. And you, and you know what? Here's the thing. Every time you take uh, the post, we're stuck in the post. You're trying to make me look like an asshole. And I don't like that one bit. So, what do you got to say to that cave squeaker? And you better damn well, you know, say something that makes sense. Don't, uh, no, 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 and we gotta do a shrink sale and then go eat dinner. I'm not doing a word move because it's uh talking about my my promoting demos on my mom's side. I and we eat and then go and then I think that we're gonna quarter and then we go home. Um, so I'm about to wait, about to wait. No. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. That's you, I'll find it, come back here when you find out, okay? WWE. Cause I don't damn well you have an answer. Everywhere is separate. Why you do that for? I hold you on 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 stop his map. I got a solution, Robbie. I mean, if people are calling you, maybe you should just do it. Back then, I posted my number on Facebook. I got lots of calls from trolls or goblins back then, but I had to change my phone number. Maybe a suggestion. Maybe you should change your number or something. It's just a suggestion. See, is it, I mean, that's the thing, you know. Welcome back. You know, but you know, even. Yeah, I know we make mistakes, Mike. So, you guys are awesome. Um, you guys are awesome. You, you guys are awesome. Well, I'm not saying that you're awesome. And, um, yeah. You you guys, I mean, Robbie, you're, you're good at creating your content. I mean, yeah, people, I mean, dude, people are making shitload of videos of me out there. I, I just, I just, you know. To me, Robbie, even though if people, I know people steal content, I'm sorry that happens, but like Joey's World Tour told me, you know, I was kind of pissed back then when people steal my content, but Joey told me, Mike, if they're putting it, who gives a fuck, Mike? It's free advertisement. Yeah! I mean, with Cave Squeaker's doing, you know, in a way, it's kind of looking bad, but it's Not his fault when he knows when he knows that he himself knows damn well knows that it is. So I'm just this is so not, not, I don't know it's going to happen. Like this, it's get him into trouble. He needs to learn from it one way or not. Because otherwise if nothing gets done, he's gonna keep doing it. I mean gonna keep doing this here to other people, he's gonna bring them down. You know, it's like to me I feel he's kinda of like uh, you know, he's just trying, he's been just trying to bring me down, even before I... And I was a, 
end of this month. I'm not dissing you guys. Look, I'm not, look, guys, hang on, hang on. I'm not dissing you guys. I mean, just saying, welcome to YouTube. I mean, hell, man, like I said, I get a shitload of videos out me out there. Yes, I used to report it, but when I had to talk with Joey, because back then when I was losing everybody in the Foodie Federation, I almost thought about quitting YouTube and just dismantling the Foodie Federation. But Joey told me, no, keep it going. You're good at you're good at what you're doing, Mike. Ignore it. Because didn't I say, Robbie and Cave, that I had a shitty 2020 where the trolls were getting me? Back then when I was working part-time. Yes, for the big sauce. Ben asked him, you know, why he's doing this here. And he's going to blah, 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 blah. Answer the fucking question, Cave. Hey, I'm for that. But that Them, them, uh, please comment on that, please. Someone's probably gonna make a video out of this. Oh boy. Okay, just take the videos down, okay? I would really appreciate that. You know. No. You don't have baby royalties or anything. Just take the damn videos down, all right? If you want to use my content, just. Put that in the back of the email address. Email address is posted in public. How the fuck hard is that? Hey, Robbie, when we're done with the Colin show, I just got a donation of a carnival. He'd like to talk to you about the Foodie Federation thing, if that's cool with you, Robbie. Uh, I think we gotta go here, because I have a Talk to you about, the, the, uh, about, the, uh, about the Happy the New Year's to us. Yeah. yeah. So, listen, case squeak ultimatum here. Is either you stop being a troll, you change your ways on YouTube, or you're done. I don't know. He, I don't know. He's gonna do one wrap with me. Oh. But if you want to listen in here, that's not my problem. Okay. Hang up, James. No. Good night. I'm through talking, talking to some nonsense idiot. Okay. Oh, uh, we can do this uh, with the one on one, and with the world that I was a million. Okay, but yeah, if you're not going to answer my questions, then we're going to call this over. Good night. Get the hell out of here. If you guys are done, I guess I got okay. to get someone else now. If you guys want, do you guys want me to end it? Um, so I was already. Yeah! Well, it was great talking to you guys. All right, well, I guess that's the end. Um, Robbie, can you stay really quick just to talk for five, just talk for a little bit for Carnival, and then I'll get the other guys on that. No, only just Carnival, because he donated. All right, guys, let me get something to drink. Okay. I'll get Carnival on here. It was fun having you guys on there, Cave, and um, let's get to Carnival. It's the demon bliss. <laughs> we got um he's he's just getting something hey, to drink. What's up, we'll man? Talk to you. Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. How about you, man? Good. I think I've seen you play some of your Batman games. Have you beat the Batman games yet? Nah, man, my computer ain't working. I don't know what what, what the problem is with it. That's, uh, All right. Well, we got Robbie on here, and we got um, Carnival. What's up? What's up, Robbie? Uh, let's see, Carnival. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. You sound out a little bit out of breath. You want me to give you a minute? How was your gentleman's Christmas? Just curious. I have to admit, Carnival, you know, the only positive thing I can say right now, that was a good impression of me you did. That was pretty entertainment, I must gotta say, of Carnival. That was, that was entertainment right there. Yeah, I probably should have gained. I mean, I needed to gain 700 pounds for the uh, actual impression to look like it, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, huh? I think I might need to give you a minute to catch your breath. Yeah. You need a minute, Robbie. You need to catch your breath. Go ahead. So, pardon what you said. Hey, hey. Other 
people in general, it's not funny. I think it's very funny, actually. I don't care. It's not funny. It's not funny to you. Like calling you pick Rob, everyone finds it hilarious for reasons. Are you saying something? I got a question really quick. Um, I hear pig noises. I hear pig noises. Robbie, Robbie, hang on a second. I got a question about your at, at Anime Girl video. Who is that girl? What anime is she from? Just curious. Oh, wait, me? Yeah. I don't fucking know. I just looked up Anime Girl. Because my friend says that Anime Girl that you had in there, that, her hair turns pink when she kills people. <laughs> um, does she give you a hard on or something? No. I'm just asking because uh-huh. one of my friends... Montana B wants to see the show, so I was trying to find Right, your friend. Okay, all right. Um, I mean, what was Robbie saying? I I kind of I kind of got sidetracked. What'd you say, Robbie? Go ahead, Robbie. Sorry for interrupting. All right, so I'm trying to get my train of thought back here, because yeah, I was trying to tell you know say something to car- Carnival here that this is pretty serious. What he's doing here. What what you what's know, so serious? One about? Another? Karma's gonna get him. I'm just trying to, you know, in this way, you know, make him see from a point of view of others here. That this is Robbie, what, what's so, hey, wait, 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 let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. What's so bad about what I'm doing? What is so bad about what I'm doing? Whatever, you know, to troll me, cyber bully me. Cyber bullying, that's what we're going with? I know you're a real person, but guess what? So am I, bud. Yeah, but I don't care, right? Dude, what I do is I try to make people laugh and entertain people. That's something you just can't do. Yeah, and you know, and just making keep fun of the, you know, people's flaws and judging them just how they look on the inside. I mean, on the outside. That's all. That's one thing you shouldn't be doing. Bro, what people look like on the outside—that's that's what's going to be everyone's first impression of people. What now, dude? Are you out of breath already? Bro, I mean, here's the thing. It's like, you know, you, you judge me just for being fat. You know? Just yeah, I can. You nasty, and that's all right. It's not all right, bro. Because, you know, we're try- I'm trying to yeah, be it is. this person on the inside. That's how I feel you should be getting to know me. That's how I try to get all to know right. other people. All right, let me, let me right. judge you based on your personality and what's on the inside. I did not get a good first impression of you just by how... I don't care what your impression is of me. I don't care. Basically, I don't care what you think of me. That's what that's the mentality you should have when you're on the internet. Why do you care what people think of you? I can tell you that right now. Why are you such a pussy? Why are you such a pussy? Here's the thing, though. If you want a yes vote from me to be in the Foodie Federation, you better get your act together. You're you're four you're forty years older than me, and yet I have more balls than you. Why is that? Eight's a number, bro. Yeah, I know you would say that. That's something you would say, wouldn't it be? Number. Age is just a number, dude. Right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, you just said that. Please don't talk over me. You can talk over me. I can talk over you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bro, you're not my father. I don't care. You yeah, I don't care about you. I'm trying to help you. you what? I can't hear you. What? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm sure what you're saying. Interrupted cow. Move. Uh, I can't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? Then he might as well pack your damn bags and get going. I don't care about the Foodie Federation. I got my own group now. You know, not full of pussy. Uh, see, no. Just like when I told Kate Squeaker, I don't like people putting me in their videos without my permission. And so so you. read my comment and take it seriously. I couldn't read your comment. Remember you blocked me. Uh, I can still comment on your video. Well, either one, that's either way the point is, I don't want to be in your video. I don't even want to be on your channels. And that's kind of too bad. It's a cruel world, isn't it? What's too bad? Is being, 800, being 800 pounds and people making videos about you. It's not your, it's not your fault at all. Why are you going to blame it? No, not my fault at all. It's a typical fat person personality. Anything that comes out of, comes out of uh, Lollipop Cop, that's your damn problem. Wait, Lollipop Cop is my responsibility? Lollipop Cop is my responsibility? 
You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. No, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're listening. Get off the phone. Hey. Get on Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I can't understand you when you're yelling. Don't get your man bro on a twist. Hey, Tim Rob, if I'm going to be honest, you're a fat, loose pussy. Talk about, you have a respect for one another? This is an I don't have respect for you. How fucking disrespectful you are. I'm just not showing respect to you because you haven't earned my respect. Well, here's the thing. That I'm trying to earn, like, I would appreciate that you got to earn your respect with me first. You broke the well, rules. Mike? You didn't even ask for me. Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. What? You, you want to know why I respect Mike? Yeah, I want to know because why. Because he, he, he yeah. can actually, okay, he can actually take some criticism. You just, you can. You, your, your tits start shaking every time, Roddy. Dude. Dude, if Mike can take more criticism than you, you need help. You're the one that's going to look bad. What? What? Dumb stupid idiot. I guarantee you someone's gonna clip this video. Just watch. Dude, I I I paid to be in this fat retard. Whatever happens, this is fair use, I guess. People use it. It is fair use. It is fair use. Thank you, Mike. This is why I like Mike. This is why I like Mike. He understands. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> what? I'm just letting Robbie talk. I know. It's not content. It's just you eating. All right. Well, Robbie, I got a question for you. I. I... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You have to get, get, get right. Oh my god. You, oh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Your house must be shaking. I feel an earthquake. I feel an earth I feel an earthquake coming. Well you walked into it. It's all your damn fault. No, I'm on the other side of the earth right now. Why do we need a Death Star? We just got you. Fucking learn from it. Wow, dude. I think you just burned like 9,000 calories just screaming. Well, gee, pal. Maybe you'd shut the fuck up and listen. I wouldn't have to scream at you. I'm trying to talk to an idiot. Dude, when you're screaming, like, your audio cuts out so much. I couldn't understand you. Well, guess what? I'm not repeating myself. So rewind this damn... So is it, is it too much? How do you rewind a phone call? How do you rewind a phone call? Are you that dumb? Bro, I paid to be on this. Because I'm not going to repeat myself. The show's going on, pal. Dude, I think it cut out for the stream too, dude. You know what? Your time's up, Carnival, okay? Good night. My time's up? My time's up? Yep. I, I want to talk to Mike first. Good night. Pleasure talking to you. Did you say you got to go, Robbie? No, I'm trying to get Carnival to go. Oh. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm trying to talk to Mike. All right, what does Carnival have to ask me really quick? Then we got to get started. No, 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 I don't, I, don't, I don't want Robbie on the show. I don't want Robbie on the call. Well, I want it to be just you and me. Because, you know, I'm actually a fan of you, Mike, not, not I, Ronnie. I, I know you're a fan, although you like to troll me. Though, guys, Outlaw, Ada Trine's Let's Plays and Entertainment, be sure to subscribe to that. There'll be more future mockery that be from James Ada Trine himself. Oh, is that, is that going to be featuring moi?
Um, like, if people want to be featured on it, it's up to him. But next one will be Alexa from James. I'm just glad that like, I'm looking forward to it, man. You know. Cool. Uh. Oh wait, is Robbie still here? I got a question, I, I Robbie. Are you gonna are you thing. gonna try to are you are, um are you gonna try to be on the Dane Collins show? I'll try to tune in tomorrow night, but um can't make any promises because I like to watch football. <laughs> oh, sure. Go ahead, Mike. Blow it out your ass, man. Yeah. Uh, I said go ahead, Mike, not go ahead, Carnival. All right, but yeah, um I'll I'll try to tune in to um. Um, Dane's show tomorrow night. I, 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 Robbie, are you gonna try to? Do, do you ever try to? Do you ever get on the Colin show on um, Dane's show? I mean, Dane was in here tonight. Shout out to Dane for being on the show. I mean, but chatting. Man, in the sweet, chat. People in the trolls in his chat. Just like a lot of the trolls in your chat, they're just very, very disrespectful. And what are you talking about? We love Dane. We love Dane. I like Dane too. He's a good guy, also. Yeah. And just kick these, you know, just kick these people out of here because obviously they're not showing respect not even for themselves. So. Hey, Mike. Uh, How much longer do you want to be on the show, uh, Colin? Because Rywin might want to talk to you, Robbie, unless you want to. That's up to you. you Robbie know? thinks he's in charge of the channel or something. Uh, Carnival keeps trying to interrupt. So. Okay, well, if you got to go, man, um, we'll try to talk to you again. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Sorry you didn't have to hear about, you know, all the people here. <laughs> Called bringing the new year in with a bang. <laughs> hey, Robbie, fuck you yourself. Are you talking? I try to talk to an idiot who's not listening, not making any sense. So, Carnival, you brought this on to yourself. Cave Squeaker, you brought this on to yourself. Hey, pick Rob, kill yourself. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. So, good luck with future endeavors. I don't want any contact from any of you all. No, thanks for the passive aggression. At least we make content. All right. Well, All right. He just Mike. ended the call. He just ended the call. All right, Mike. Um, what was I gonna say? Shit. Um. Yeah. Uh. Don't don't let Robbie of all people tell you what to do with his channel. Uh. It's yours. So. Uh, well, I talked know. to him about the Foodie Federation, and only I on the Foodie Federation is the one that can delete the channel. So, um, everyone's listening right. to me on that channel. They're, they're an editor, but they can't. Um, I, I try to give everybody chances, you know, goblins, trolls on the channel. But if people misbehave and try to dox people, you'll be banned forever. Right. Um, not I'm not alive. really, I'm not really interested in the Foodie Federation really anymore since I, I kind of want to see what I can do myself. But uh, hey, if it ever comes down to it, Circus of Snack. Booty Federation collab? Sure. Anytime. Or maybe oh, yeah, Carnival dude. could do a collab with James A. Tryon sometime, too, because you did make the intro for James's show sometime. That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, season three is going to be all coming right, well, in February, so I'll have to start filming it in February. Yeah, that's, that's all right. All right. I think my time is long overdue. Yeah. Uh, you have a good rest of your stream, Mike. You, too. And I'll be out. Thank you. Thank no you. problem, man. We'll talk to you later. All right, guys. Um, so we just got Carnival. Sorry for the heat, guys. Like I said, it's fair use. People probably put this on here. The thing I'm big on my channel is I don't allow fucking doxing. You dox, you're going to get the fuck out of this channel forever. But, you know, making videos about me, I don't care if people criticize me, whatever. That's why James A. Trent is going to come back with a mockery that I beast. So anyone in the chat, feel free or in the comments, tell them say, James, please make a mockery that I be on me. If I see that, I'll inform James and a Trident, and he will make that mockery that I become. But he did say next is Anime Girl Alexa. So. So, um, who, oh, who wants to be on the next call-in show? If, thir if we had 40 fucking people when Robbie and Cave Sweet were talking, then Carnival. Wow, man. But, um,. We'll do some more calls. Um, if anyone wants to be on a call where um, Robbie's done, I guess. Sorry for all the fighting guys tonight. No, James wanted to do that. Unless Robbie wanted James to do that. But James not that type of person. But um, let's get to more stuff. Um, guys, um, who wants to be on the call and show next to chat with me? 
Was it Solstice or does Solstice want to wait to be the main event? I think I gave him 10 or 15 minutes for all those donations we've made tonight. All right, um, but let's not say the um, Hitler or um, all that other stuff, the underage crap. I don't want any of that shit or I will hang up the call, okay? So we'll talk to Solstice and um, Big Ron until I when they got to go, but nine, nine, I'm ending the show. So if people get pissed, I didn't get the call in. Well, that's too bad. There's always next week guys. Cause I'm doing a two and a half show to make up for last week, not being live, but next week we're back to two hours. Be either at six or six 30 when I'm live again, but I got to go to Dairy Queen and do my review tonight. So, um, let's get in here. Let's go to the discord. Let's get solstice on. at nine hello you're on the hideout if you want to add big ron that's fine too and after that i'm ending this no later than nine because i gotta go all right hello anybody here let's add big ron to the call I can't get a hold of Solstice. Eh. I'll just add fucking Big Ron if he's gonna do well. Hello, Big Ron. How you doing? Oh, sorry. I gotta unmute you. How you doing, man? What? What? You had me muted again? Oh, last time because you're misbehaving. Remember? Go ahead. And I'm. I'm. To the call I'm getting. Want. I'm getting PTSD from all of this. All right, add Solstice to the call. That's fine, but anything, I will end the call. We're not gonna have. Yeah, get Solstice in here, man. That's 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 the bees and knees, man. Add him to the call, then. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'm on my i I'm on my iPad. I'm not on my computer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So what's good, Mike? That was a crazy call. Um, I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna say what I want to say. You know. Um, but, you know, there's a certain somebody who's not, you know, I don't know, man. I, I have mixed, we, everybody in the chat, they obviously have mixed feelings about a certain somebody. I just, I don't, I don't get your reasoning, man. Yeah. Well, we'll get the Solstice know. after you. I'll get the Solstice. He's the main event. Four what? fucking people tuning in. Solstice is the main oh, event, my. man. He's always the main event. He's the number one caller. He calls himself the number one caller. Oh, here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. L let me, let me... Okay. All right. So I'm I'm calling him right now. I'm inviting him. Okay, that's fine. Mike, are you gonna what What are you gonna play tonight on Twitch? I'll the people want to know. I'll make a poll and I'll let you guys decide. I'll make the poll after I'm done. Hey, tell tell Mike to unmute me. You are <laughs> you are unmuted, dude. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I'm unmuted. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Mike, why did you call Nick two times in the live stream? He's the most boring caller in the calling <laughs> show. Like, what the Best fuck are you doing, man. dude? Dude, he's a terrible call. Your views dip from 30 to 20. Yeah. Like, holy man. shit. Yeah, he needs to smoke some of that meth that you smoke, and then maybe he'll actually <laughs> be pretty funny. You know what, you what I'm saying? i call between Robbie and um, Cave Squeaker. I oh, came in. Great. I mean, you interrupted like a couple of times, which ruined Man, a little bit of it, but it was great. I, kill I, I, I tried calling Robbie on his, you know, his cell phone. He wasn't answering, obviously. He doesn't like me for some reason. I tried to call him just to say hi, you know, how are the kids doing, but uh, he just, I don't know. But yeah. I, I, I missed, I missed most of that call. Yeah, no, so, someone's probably gonna clip it and put it on YouTube. But I guess, like, as people say, fair use. I guess people talking about that. It's already yeah, like that caller space account. They like post it on YouTube. Ha <laughs> 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 You're very funny, man. You're cracking me. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Why play Link's Awakening, guys? I played that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you have Jokeritis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I guess he has Jokeritis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Mike, 
Mike. Yeah. Mike, right. how, how how are the kids? Oh, I did great. I got a good Christmas gift. How about you? What did you and Solstice get for Christmas? Oh, I got. I made you melt down over college days. That was my Christmas present. Very funny. You, you're so funny. I fucking ruined your stream. Hey, he, That's insane. Sorry, I missed it. How far do, do I need to go? Says Hammond. Hammond, um, just watched the show. I think it was about like 20 or 40 minutes ago when I was talking to Robin. How do you get from Robbie CNN to Caller Space? That's what I want to know. So Samus Knight says, "I'm serious. I'll fund it, Mike." What? What do you mean by that? What you'll fund. Samus you'll fund Caller Space. <laughs> hey Mike, do you want me to read your Caller Space account um, description? Oh no, I. Trans me into an Asian female, please. Oh it is my James dream since I am a Caucasian male. It is even possible. <laughs> I want to become a natural female, so that I please and become a clone of a Hitomi Tanaka since he is my. Start sucking my dick. Quiet, quiet, quiet. There we go. Now we got. My asshole is done. AK Outlaws Organization. I know it's you. Because Paul told me it's not he, he wouldn't be something like wow. that. Wow, wow, wow. That's some strong allegations, Mike. I'm an investigator, man. You're an investigator? That's why the whole <laughs> crew tells me everything. What? And I bet Solstice was probably the one last night on the streams <laughs> writing all weird stuff. I got how many accounts do you have, Solstice? But if you Damn, want, he's... James Ada Trying can make you famous in a mockery that I'd be if that's what you want. I will inform James. Whoa, that, oh, that sounds like a threat. <laughs> I will inform James. He'll make you famous. How's that sound, Solstice? <laughs> James is going to make him famous, man. He'll, 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 love, he'll love James for that. Hey, can, can, James, um, can James diss Hitler? Uh, come on, dude. I'll say it again. I'll have to end the call. What? It, okay, not allowed, okay. Not allowed. Not allowed. Behave well or I'll have to end the call. I said his name. I didn't say, like, what he does, you know. Let's talk about other stuff. Um, so, um, Solstice. <laughs> Good bonus Patreon video of the car wash daily. Thank you very much, Hammond. Shout out to Hammond. A two-year, no, three-year fucking Patreon for a long time. You should consider becoming a Patreon, too. You can see a lot of my videos. Big Ron, you might like them. Oh, yeah. Man, I ate an edible. It's kicking in right now. Holy shit. Or fucking play me at Trivia Night on um, Loot Mogul. Oh, oh God damn. Me, Flash Atlas Generation. Hey, you live in Washington. Review a, a pot brownie, Mike. Nah, Go live. That shit. I get hey, where's the Bacardi stream? Uh, Bacardi stream 2021. You uh, you started the year with the Bacardi stream last year. We need one. Nah. What do you mean, nah? I will give you money. I need to see a lot of. I need to try to see us get a hundred people watching sometime, and I guess donations that we, we that day. Then maybe I might do Mike. it. Mike, but it won't be Bacardi. It'll probably be in one of my whiskeys if I drink. Why did you uh, edit that clip, that stream? You edited the best part. Oh, it was my crew that edited it. They didn't like that. Your crew? Why did your crew edit? It's it? bad for sponsorships, man. The sponsorships they watch everything. I mean, that's not moguls with me. I mean, in and out sponsored Mia Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? Oh, cool, man. You know Sorry, who that guys, is? Solstice was misbehaving. He's being very naughty, so he's muted for the rest of the night. I'll talk to Big Ron. What? Yeah. No, unmute him. Nope. Come on. Nope. He's trolling too much. What's he doing? He's, he's trolling. trolling Come on, Mike. Every, we're just playing. We're just having a good time. Believe in people's playing. videos having a good time. Yep. <laughs> Mike, Mike. And that's you said that's Hitler. You can't say that. Only I. You just said it. it. Only I'm the ones that say the word. Not anyone else. I'm the one that says the words. Okay. Wait. Why? What? That 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 makes no sense. What? What do you mean? I don't want people breaking you the can rules. Say they, got, they got to obey them. So you can break the rules, but we can't break the rules. That's what an outlaw is. That I'm the outlaw. <laughs> That's what an outlaw. Well, outlaw would break the rules, and he would, um, you know, he would let his so, audience I got a question say what they you. want to uh, say. Robbie, so did you? So did you ban Robbie on your channel? Just curious, because I've been hearing you in my comments saying that Robbie sometimes invades your show, or maybe that was Twitch when you said that. No, no, he, Robbie's welcome at any time. He's the punching bag. Uh, everybody, I everybody has a good him, laugh. Sure. No, I would never ban him, man. He's great. Um, he's in my chat, you know, he brings his bots to dislike my, my streams, obviously. Yeah. Um, and he's, buddy, but he's, you know, everybody, 
Everybody, next time I go live, I don't know when that is, but when I do, you know, just feel free. You know, that's that's what you need, Mike. You need you everybody to right say what they want. I'm no, I'm not. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. I know you have me on the tab. Open up, you know. Watch me sometimes, man. Mike, my point is, is that I don't let people's, I don't censor people on my stuff. I don't, you know, I don't get mad when people say, anyone can say anything they want, even, mm -hmm. you know, fat ass pick Rob, he can say whatever he wants. Um, but I encourage people to, you know, talk shit because I don't like him. I give Salsa <sighs> one more chance, but if he fucks it up, he won't be on the call show next week, okay? Come on, just unmute Solstice, man. Just unmute him. It'll yes, money. you're here. All right, I'm watching that. I'm watching the call. You're back. What's yes. Gonna say? What's Solstice going to say? Okay. I have it right on the mute if you say anything stupid. <laughs> Don't, Mike, Mike. That's the thing. You can't try. You censoring people is the worst thing you can do. Just let people, you know, yeah, be free on your that's channel. Funny. <laughs> that's funny to dox people, isn't it? Mike, why did you accuse me of being that troll channel? Why are you the outlaws organization? It has to be you, man. I, it's you, not me. You accused me. You accused me. You, 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 know. <laughs> you have a shitload of accounts. It's gotta be you. It wasn't me. Cause, cause well, why are you Paul saying it's me? That. Paul's not that type of person to do that. He's got his only two channels. I'm not the type of person to do that. Yeah, you've made videos about me. I'm, I'm not... I'm not no. Not, uh, the last time I made a video was like like a year ago. Yeah, what's your next Why video? Why are you saying... <laughs> Excuse me? What's your next Excuse video? Excuse me? I'm looking forward to seeing what, what um, Solstice's next video. He'll probably clip this and post it on whatever channel he has. Mike, why does it matter? Accuse, if... you, you accuse me of being someone I'm not. Mike, why does it even matter if he does that or not, though? It shouldn't matter. That, like, that's the thing. Like, whether people talk about you or not, it shouldn't matter, you know? Yeah. yeah <laughs> like but... like carnival was saying man it's just like this internet thing people talk shit all the time you know you guys yeah. gotta just deal with it. I, I didn't know robbie was gonna get pretty mad on the call-in show <laughs> that was hilarious hey call him oh, yeah. get him on the call right now yeah get him right now no, he, he, come he, on he, right now. Store. he told me on come. instagram I'm not gonna call him who cares who cares about what he says he's calling it's your uh, show I can't call him right now We'll just chat with you guys. Can you call Nick? Go, and that's it. So, what's some food can you, you want to recommend? Can we, can can we talk? Can we talk to Nick or Montana B? Montana B. Yeah. Nah, he's busy too. I'm asking, what foods should I review in 2021? Solstice. Hmm. Can you review the pick raw pizza? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny, a pizza. Robbie told me his channel is mostly known as a pizza channel, so he wants to try to do other stuff than pizza. You should, uh. He's known as the Diabetes Channel. Yeah, why did he sound like he was uh, out of breath half of that conversation? You know, that's not really nice. The dude needs to get a beating machine right after a call with Cave Squeaker. And Cave Squeaker said he enjoyed being on the call and show. I actually liked it when I talked when I talked to him. He he wants to be on there sometime again. Yeah, that was like the top ten out of moment when he called in. Mike, that was great. <clears throat> From what I've heard, I didn't. Well, see I asked it. Robbie for his permission. He said he'd be willing to talk to Cave Squeaker. Um, I didn't really get all hey, Mike, in there. Shit. Mike, can you um, find Slimer? I want to like talk to Slimer. Uh, he has to win the poll first, and he'll be on Twitch tonight. But you know what? I will make the poll right now, and you guys can vote. What game to play? I'm gonna make the poll right now. Okay, like right now. Can I give suggestions of what to put on the poll? Why yeah, you make, make it? Suggestions. Don't say anything. Uh, or I won't call you next week. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, when is that in the chat? What's going on? Is that the outlaw organization in the chat? Whoa! Whoa! The fuck? What is going Mike. on? Like you ban him? He's like accusing you of shit. Oh, Mike! Oh, what's going on, dude? Hitler! 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 Hitler!
Now, let's see if Jack Jerusalich wants to talk to me. If not, eh, I'll just one the show right here. Um, crazy, insane people tonight. Hey, Snack! Would Snack like to talk to me? He could be the main event on the call. Well, actually, shit. I forgot Snack's at work. But Snack, um, I'll, ch I'll send you a message at, on Instagram after I know the stream. All right, hang on. Let's go right here. <laughs> What a crazy fucking stream. 40 fucking people watching tonight. Outlaws Hideout is the heart of this channel. Fucking amazing. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't know Robbie would get all mad uh, tonight. I, I didn't know that was going to happen. I did not know. So I apologize for that, guys. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream tonight. I'm making the poll right now while I chat with you guys to vote right now. So let's go on here. All right, so here's a poll. What game should be played tonight on Twitch? At, I'll be on at 10.30 p.m. or 11 p.m. Pacific. I'm putting the options right now. Luigi's Mansion with, Lu Luigi's Mansion 3 with Slimer. Uh, excuse me. Street Fighter. Fighter 5 with James Ada Triton. Or I'll be playing it next Friday, guys, because um, congratulations to Nadia. She beat the game last night, so she's done. Um, she Congratulations, Nadia. You beat the game. I will be playing on Friday Zelda Awakening, Link's Awakening. Um, let's say, um, I'm trying to think. Super Mario Deluxe Deluxe Brothers with Mike Outlaw. All right, guys, poll is in. Vote now if you want. It is up. I will give you the link. Vote in. The voting starts at 10 o'clock. I will end the voting thing. Here we go. Let's post it right here. I'm going to post it on the channel. Hold on a second, guys. Right here. What a good call-in show tonight, guys. We had a good time. We got everybody we had to t get on the show. ...with Mike Outlaw. All right, guys. Poll is in. Vote now if you want. It is up. I will give you the link. Vote in. The voting starts at 10 o'clock. I will end the voting thing. Here we go. Let's put it right here. All right, let's put it right I'm here. on the channel. Hold on a second, guys. Right here. What a good call and show tonight, guys. We had a good time. We got everybody Here we go, here. guys. Vote in the poll if you want what game that um, should be played tonight on YouTube. All right, guys. Poll is in. Vote now if you want. It is oh, crap. We got a fucking same, same thing vote at the same time. So there we go. <laughs> Tech on Tony, how about I give you a call to end the show? At nine, Tech on Tony, would you want to talk? Not Solstice here. I got his turn. Here's the thing: in 2020, to make your video on this, I got trolled. 2021, this time is going to be the year of the outlaw, where I'm the best, and I ain't going to let any fucking goblins or trolls run me. Because James and a Triton, I'm ordering you, or I will not renew your show. You go after them. You hit them down with the mockery that I be because your videos get a shitload of views, Mr. Ada Trident. But who wants to talk last for five minutes? Jack or Tuck on Tony? Who would it be? But I will, every Friday, every Friday now is Zelda Link's Awakening every Friday. I give you my word on that. Starting next Friday, every Friday I'll be playing Link's Awakening. But we're done with the calls. Um, I will play Link's Awakening next week or maybe possibly tomorrow. We'll see. But, um... Every Friday, I'll be playing Link's Awakening. If you guys want to watch me every Friday play Zelda, 
which I haven't been the game in a fucking long time. It was on um, Game Boy back then. So, um, we'll see. Um, didn't it? Let me check the Discord who want to talk. Because I got to end this in um, five minutes, guys. I got to get going. So, you get what you paid for. But thanks for your donations, guys. We're going to have more um, fun stuff, you know, like uh, more. Colin show is gonna okay. Let's see. All right, send some messages on here. We're looking on here, right here, guys. Before we end this, oh, thank you for sharing my video, Robbie. Very nice of you on your channel. But um. All right, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get um, the last one, Jack, and then that's it. Just Jack and myself for five minutes, and we're done. Hey, how's it going? You've been a Patreon for a couple months so far, haven't you? What do you uh, think of the fucking... videos so far on the Patreon? What? Hey, stop! Hold. Oh my God, there's like three of you talking. Okay, there we go. This is shit. This is this is so shit. Hang up on me here. Call me back on the thing I was calling you on. Okay, I just wanted to be between you and me. I don't want to talk to Solstice or the other guy. Dang it, it's turn. What do you mean the other guy? He has a name, you know. Big Christ's Ron. sake. I already talked to Big Ron. It's just you and me now. You hate Hispanics. You're making me throw things. You're making me fucking. You're making me get angry. I, I want to know, Jack what, angry. what do you think of the Patreon video so far? What? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm wasting money on that. Did you watch I that? don't have much left. I spent... Watch? Oh, I, I just found out that I have to spend money on $700 worth of bullshit because the, there's not one machine that does it. There's fucking tons of them. I I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not very lucid right now. I'm on... Uh, Odin Cedron, oh. eight milligrams per day. Oh, okay. I hope I don't wake up, but I am here to say something. Sorry, what are you on to say? Adolf Hitler isn't as bad as you guys think he was. Now, he might have shut down free press, but he did gas all those Jews. I mean, that's pretty cool, okay, right? Okay, okay, enough. None of that stuff. None of that stuff. That's not allowed. Gotta follow the rules. What rules? You I'll... make up the rules. You make up the rules as you go along. You told me I was gonna get all this cool shit for all this fucking money I pour into your fucking bank account, and I get nothing. I get nothing. You get videos. I'm almost out of money. I've been trying to I'm contact almost out you. I've been trying to contact you on the weekends to see if I'll take the screenshots of Instagram right fucking now because there is there you haven't contacted me in a very, very long time. That is a lie. Okay, I'll take the screenshots. Are you, you sure you want to go like, down this stop path? Ignoring me? How am I ignoring you? I'm not ignoring you. You're ignoring me because first of all, you fucking ignored I don't you're I, this is a mind game. Like I said, I'm I'm not myself right now. I'm on Odin Odin's Odisetrin? Oda whatever. I don't give a shit. So how is Robbie? Hey, I've been wanting to do a um a um uh uh well, you sent me a message on the Discord, something about a call-in show. What? Yeah, I was asking when you went live, and then you ignored me for a couple weeks. Um, I what, What's the thing you, you sing? Oh, it's called karaoke. I want to do karaoke with Robbie. I want to do karaoke with Robbie because I think I'm a very good singer. I'll have to see what Robbie says about that when I talk to him. I used to, I used to sing in the No Smoking Choir. Oh. And also, back when I was part of the Nazi party, around 90 years ago, it was a very long time. I can't believe I'm still alive. I'm 90 Super years Plexi old right says now. Jack is totally baked or wasted. <laughs> I'm not wasted. 
I'm you 90 years old. Odin. You said something about Odin something, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, that's the name of the O N D A N S E T R O N. Cool, man. Well, wait, I, I gotta it's... go one more minute because, um, like I said, they gotta they close at 10. Wait, so no, nine. that's the that's the anti nausea pill. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on, what are what are the opioids? Oh, I still have some left. You got one minute. I left. still have I enough gotta left. Go into Dairy Queen to do a food review. Oh, you have to go to Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah. That's Are you going to do a food review at fucking 9 o'clock at night? I'm in this Pacific, too. P wait, P Pacific. I'm in the Pacific, too. But I talked to James for once a month. He's just going to do a doing... stream whether no one watches him. You can just watch it on the Twitch channel because they'll keep it recorded for you. That way you can watch it. He'll only what? answer you. He'll, he'll, he'll answer you if you talk. Or a Zoom call with James that I tried once a month. He does it. What? Come on, you like? You owe me you like three of them. You owe me. You owe me like three um, talks with James, James, and you also owe me nine o'clock. I, I gotta get going because I gotta get the food. Well, I can talk. Okay. To you more seconds. Just talk to me on Instagram. Stop ignoring me. I'm. I don't. I don't even say anything bad. Yeah. I'm just I'll, retarded. I'll try to talk to you on Instagram. I'll do my best. Okay. I, am I? Am I that bad that you just fucking ignore me? I'm gonna. I'm going to throw something at my wall. Oh, come on, man. Let's get along. But it was nice talking to you. We'll talk again on Instagram. Have a happy new year, man. And my Strowman alarm just went off, guys. Well, I got to get going uh, to, Dairy Qu to Dairy Queen now and do a quick food review to post video content for next week, guys. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um... Give me a thumbs up if you like to stream, thumbs down, whatever. I don't give a flying fuck. It's called free advertisement. I get all the time. That's why my channel grows so much. So um, I love you all, guys, and I will be on Twitch. Be sure to vote in that poll. I will be on around um, 10, 30, or 11, and like, I give you my word. Maybe tomorrow I might play Zelda Link's Awakening, but for sure Fridays I'll be playing Zelda. All right, guys. And thank you for the donations tonight from Carnival, Samus Knight, Tech on Tony, and Robbie P2 Vlogs. All right, guys, I love you all.